stars in their eyes. Please welcome your host, Matthew Kelly. Welcome to Stars in the Rise, the show where unsung heroes become heroic singers. Now, tell the truth. Have you ever pretended to be your favourite star? We've all done it. Even I have stood in front of a mirror thrashing a tennis racket and grunting. I was a fantastic Steffi Graf, mind. <laughs> Even the famous have their influences. Oasis look up to the Beatles. Celine Dion looks up to Barbara Streisand. Prince looks up to Ronnie Corbett. <laughs> They say you'll be disappointed if you meet your hero, and it's true. When I met Madonna, she was really disappointed. But you won't be disappointed with tonight's heroes. Five-star guests have swapped their hairbrushes for microphones and their mirrors for cameras. And first to make that change, a man who knows all about the importance of a famous name. Star guest number one. My name's Peter Giles. I am, I'm 26 years old, and I live in West Hampstead in London. I work for a, um, an international branding consultancy called Interbrand that basically look at a number of different brands Hello, still the same um, room and my job is to right? help come up with, with new names for new products. Thanks. I've been doing my job for just under a year now. Um, what I enjoy most about it is, um, is actually creating something new, coming up with new ideas. I've been going out with my girlfriend um, Sandrine for the last year and a half. We met in a nightclub initially but I didn't know she was an au pair and was therefore restricted to right. um, to looking after children and not actually Basically was allowed to have to visitors to late at night. So the, um, the only way I could get over and see her was um, arranged to teach her guitar. And, and um, so we had a number of what, weekly what lessons where I could go over and play guitar and pretend to be her teacher and that was yes. fine with the children. What about, what about this picture? I think the most amazing thing and appealing thing for me for Stars and Rise is actually that, that you can feel what it's like to be a star for, for just that one night and I think that that's something that not many people actually get to experience. Changing his brand name for a very famous product, please welcome Peter Giles. Yeah. Yeah. Peter, just how important is a brand name then? It's probably more important than you would believe. Um, a couple of examples I can think of. One is, a, is an international coffee brand um, called Bonka. Now, <laughs> inviting somebody over for coffee might be more interesting if we're coffee brand. <laughs> oh, oh, I've got all warm now. <laughs> yes. And also, there's, um, there's a, a quite a famous car name um, called the Nova, which had a, they had a bit of trouble selling it in Spain because um, literally in Spanish, Nova means doesn't go. <laughs> really? Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the person that you're going to be. The person I'm going to be tonight, Matthew, is... Um, he was born in America, in New Orleans. He first started performing when he was three years old and um, joined a professional jazz band when he was ten. Um, he's also a, a film star and um, he's, he's also likened to a very famous legendary crooner called Frank Sinatra. So there's nothing much you can't do. Tell us who you're going to be tonight, Peter. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Harry Connick Jr. Harry Connick Jr! <laughs> big fan, big sound, big talent tonight! Singing live, Peter Giles is Harry Connick Jr. It had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around and finally found the somebody who could make me be true, could make me be blue, or even be glad just to be sad, thinking of you. Some others I've seen might never be mean. Might never be cross or try to be boss, but they wouldn't do for nobody else. Give me a thrill with all your faults. I love you still. It had to be you 
wonderful you It had to be you I wandered around And finally found The somebody who Could make me be true Could make me be blue Or even be glad Just to be sad Thinking of you Some mother I've seen Might never be me Might never be cross Try to be boss They wouldn't do For nobody Good year, isn't it? <laughs> Great haircut too. Your mother will be pleased. <laughs> Hope now, so. You're one of those people. You came here to have a good time, didn't you? Yeah. Very what much. kind of time have you had while you've been uh, here? Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. You've, you've loved it, haven't yeah, you? Totally. And not only that, you've been calming the others down backstage. Is you know? that what they say? <laughs> <laughs> I know that for a fact. <laughs> well done, ladies and gentlemen. Peter Giles as Harry Connick Jr. <laughs> artists on this show and our next star guest is from the schools of realism and impressionism here creating a true work of art star guest number two my name is Kirsten Tomlinson I'm 40 years old and I live in Montrose in Angus Scotland I'm a portrait artist I trained in Dundee and I've been working as an artist ever since then I worked in the museum in Montrose for three years which was a very enjoyable experience but now I've gone into the business with my, my parents. My father is a landscape artist, so it's all hands on deck and we're, we're master of many trades up here with lots of different uh, aspects of art. I'm married to John. We were married in 1984 and we have three boys, Christopher who's 13, Nicholas who's 12 and Matthew who is eight. My children have always encouraged me to apply for Stars in Their Eyes and I applied twice with one audition both times but didn't get any further and the third time I thought oh, I won't try again but they encouraged me and said no go for it and so it was suggested that I should go as somebody else so I sent in a tape as someone else and hey presto uh, this one worked. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the transformation I don't know quite how they're going to do that um, although some people have said I look like her when my husband looked at a photograph of the person I'm going to be he said, well, I have to say, in all honesty, you don't look anything like her, so we'll see. <laughs> A lady with impeccable taste, obviously. Please welcome Kirsten Tomlinson. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. You're Thank you very much. Your husband's in the audience there, John. Yes. Tell me what first attracted you to John. Well, I first met John when we were in an amateur production of Camelot together. I was Guinevere and he was King Arthur. And when it came to the production, he wore tunic and tights, and I thought he had rather a snazzy pair of legs on him. Right. Um, but as the show wore on, I was perplexed because his legs seemed to get thinner and thinner. And at the end, it was revealed that he actually started the show with nine pairs of tights on because he had so many quick changes <laughs> and just peeled off one pair at a time. <laughs> Oh, John, you cheat. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about this person that you're going to be then, Kirsten. Her real name is Julia Elizabeth Wells. Mm -hmm. She started her singing career in her parents' music act in the 1930s. And she made her first Broadway appearance aged 19. Tell us who you're going to be tonight, Kirsten. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Julie Andrews. Julie Andrews! <laughs> The singing line is back. This tonight, singing line, Kirsten Tomlinson is Julie Andrews.
comes to beak like the wings of the birds that rise from the lake to the trees. My heart wants to sigh like a chime that flies from a church on a breeze. To laugh like a brook when it trips and falls over stones on its way. To sing through the night like a John, lovely legs and only one pair of tights. <laughs> Honestly, your performance is so like your, your pictures, it's so perfect. It's perfect. I think we should thank your three boys for making you come this third time. Well done. <laughs> it was fabulous. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kirsten Tomlinson as Julie Andrews. Well, while well, Julie Andrews is keeping a lonely goat herd entertained, our next artist was amusing his schoolmates in North London. This star was a fashion disaster in the early 80s, but he's got the kind of voice that really didn't need dressing up. You'll have to wait a couple of minutes to find out who he is, but if you want to get in the mood, grab a tartan tea towel, wrap it round your head and dance about like a big girl. I'll see you then. <laughs> In their eyes. Now, all good shows have a catchphrase, and ours is, Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be. It's a good one, not too long and open-ended, just like myself. <laughs> Two more star guests are about to use those famous words, but I really want another catchphrase to go with it, so we'll put our heads together and see what we can come up with. But first, before the break, I told you about a singer whose voice didn't need dressing up, and sharing that voice is star guest number three. My name is Ivan Mornington. I'm 23 years old and I live in Warsaw in the West Midlands with my mum and dad. Currently at the minute I'm unemployed, but I spend a lot of time looking for work and trying to get into singing and things like that. Because I've got my own boy band and I'd like to do that really. I have a musical background because my dad was in a group when he was 12 years old and he's done that until his age now. I used to go out a lot and start singing with my dad and his band for the younger kids, doing all boy band type tracks for them. My friends and family have heard me sing loads of times, so I always used to record in my bedroom. 
just blast the knife straight out. My friends think I'm good. They encourage me a lot. They've all put their orders in for things when I'm famous and rich. I, I want a car, I want this, aren't I? And when I got the call from Stars and the Rise sale, it was actually on the shelf. I accused the person that phoned me of being one of my mates, saying, you winding me up, you winding me up, and I nearly didn't up. I really did nearly hang up. And I can't wait to see what I look like when they transform me in that. I can't wait to see. It should be a laugh. Shopping around for a new look tonight, here's Ivan Mornington. <laughs> You said about this uh, singing at school, what was it again? Uh, well, when I was in primary school, yeah. uh, there was a teacher called Mrs Wood and she made me get up in front of the whole school one day and she made me sing this song called The Ink is Black, The Page is White and I was so embarrassed, I was unbelievable. My mum was there and uh, I decided I'd rebel when I got older. Good for you, mate, yeah. So I joined a heavy metal outfit. Fantastic. The problem was, they sacked me because they said I sounded like Phillies from Coronation Street. <laughs> can, can you do it? Yeah, we'd, we'd start a song, it'd be dan, dan, dan. Oh, perfect! <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a bit about the person that you're going to be tonight, Ivan. OK, he's a London-born lad. He was in the 80s new romantic scene. And he's now gone solo. And one of his fellow band members has now become an East Ender. So tell us who you're going to be tonight, Ivan. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Tony Hadley from Spando Valley. Tony Hadley! <laughs> the new romantic, who's an old romantic tonight, singing live, Ivan Mornington is Tony Hadley!
like my back garden in here. Do you know, <laughs> I know you hated your music teacher, but honestly, that voice is fantastic. Well, if she's watching. I hope she's watching too, because that's a lesson to her for a start. That's an excellent performance. Well done. Thank you. Very moving. Ladies and gentlemen, Ivan Mornington as Tony Hadley. <laughs> The Brixton girl who helps people change their lives every day. But tonight, she's the one doing the changing. Star guest number four. My name is Diana Derby. I'm 21 years old and I live in Brixton, South London. I'm administrative officer at the Job Centre. My job involves booking fortnightly reviews, processing claims, signing people on, and general administration work. Right, what I like best about my job is seeing clients come in saying that they got the job that you have actually put them to and when they come in they're sort of like happy and they're so vibrant that they got the job it just makes you happy. I love singing, I've been singing since I was little and um, I come from a musical background and um, my brother does dancing and my dad used to play drums for Bob Marley so I've always loved singing. I discovered I sound like the person I'm going to be tonight when um, I was on the karaoke machine and my friends basically said that I sounded like her so I was quite shocked. The bit of I'm looking forward to the most is the transformation, coming out those doors, seeing the audience and just singing. And hopefully one day, you never know, there'll be someone out there having stars in their eyes but imitating me. And in years to come, someone may say, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Dinah Derby! <laughs> now, your friend said to me that you're a very forthright person. Well, I'm very straightforward. Mm -hmm. um, I hate bullies. Yeah, me I hate too. Bullies. I hate them. Yeah, I yeah. really hate them. And, um, and people put up with it, don't they? Of course they do. But I you don't. don't put up with it, do you? Oh, no, I don't. I no. don't. Um, no. I was at work. Um, my boss was very lippy towards me. Um, and I gave as good as I got. Did you really? <laughs> that must have been very satisfying. Yeah, I got transferred. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Well done. <laughs> OK, Daddy, tell me a little bit about this person. OK, mm. she's a high-profile British soul singer. She um, is well known for a piece of face furniture that she wears. And she also is in the Guinness Book of Records for the song that I'm going to sing tonight. Tell us who you're going to be, Diana. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Gabrielle. Gabrielle! <laughs> Dreams can come true! As tonight, singing live, Diana Derby is Gabrielle! Hey. 
making plans for tomorrow Let's live for tonight You know I want you, baby Don't hold it so tight Put your arms around me You made me feel so safe Then you whisper in my ears That you're here to stay Yeah, dreams May I be forthright with you? <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? Nothing. Do you know, I know that uh, your friends, before you came on the show, everybody this girl's gone up to and gone, well, I'm going to be on Stars in the Rise, and they all went, well, I bet you're going to be Gabrielle. <laughs> and I'm not surprised either. There will be people coming on this show in the future, and they're going to come on, they're going to be you. Yeah, I know. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, Dinah Derby as Gabrielle! <laughs> Okay. We said we'd come up with another catchphrase for the show, and we think we've got it. It's not a catchphrase as such, it's more a catchface. And here it is. <laughs> yeah, it seems to work. I'll be trying my new catchface during part three. See if it's got legs. And please, if you see me in the street, feel free to go. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to... <laughs> ..and see me run. Back in a mo. and my new catch face. <laughs> One more star guest to go before the studio audience make their choice. <laughs> but if you've already made your minds up, then cease and desist. Our next star guest may change your choice. Here she is before the doors work their strange magic. Star guest number five. My name is Tanya Smith. I'm 34 and I live in Crouch End, North London. I work in uh, London as a temp at the moment. I get assignments all over London, and um, I basically do secretarial and admin duties, really. The great thing about temping for me has been that um, in the last eight years, I've been able to travel. Um, I've been to Greece, to Germany, and yet I've always come back to London and been able to find work, which is great. When I leave the office, I really like to leave the office behind. I love comedy and theatre, and uh, in fact, I recently took a comedy course. The things I admire about the person who I'm going to be tonight is just her zest for life, really. I've always loved singing, and um, I think um, my main inspiration really was that my mother was a singer, and uh, it's nice that uh, I have a chance to follow in her footsteps. Temping is a superstar tonight. Please welcome Tanya Smith. I know you have a lot of trouble with uh, mixing your words up, don't yes, you? Yes, I do, yes. Yes, I, I, uh, I've described my brother as erotic uh, when I meant erratic. Oh, you know? oh. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is this a problem at work for you? Um, it, it has been a problem, yeah. I was, um, I was once introducing these visitors to my boss. And, and this I is said, when you were temping? Yeah, I was, I was temping, yeah. Yes. And uh, I said, um, oh, um, I introduced them as merchant bonkers. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he said to me, don't you mean merchant bankers? And I said to him, I'm sorry, I'm only tempting. <laughs> 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 I get it all mixed up. So, so, perhaps you better tell me if you can get the words together uh, about right. the person that you're going to be. Well, the, the, the person I'm going to be tonight, um, from 1936 to 63, the year she died, she became the highest paid singing star in the world. Wow. Um, and um, her life um, was as tormented as, as her voice, you know, and uh, she, uh, her name is French for Little Sparrow. 
Tell us who you're going to be tonight, Tanya. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Edith Piaf. Edith Piaf! <laughs> the little sparrow with the big voice tonight. Singing live, Tanya Smith is Edith Piaf! Qui font bêcher les miens. Un jour, tu te fais la de de l'homme que j'appartiens. Quand il m'apprend dans ses bras, il me parle tout bas, je vois la vie en rose. Il me dit des mots d'amour. <laughs> you see, that wasn't tempting. That was tempting, it was after tempting, all. It yes, was. Yes. Did you love it? Yeah, I loved it. Did you? I, yeah, I like showing off. <laughs> yeah. You've actually become French, haven't you? A little. Just, a little. Uh, yes. Just for tonight. Oh, yes. <laughs> and we didn't need to know what the words meant because mm. we got it from the performance. I hope so. Well done. I hope so. Ladies and gentlemen, Tanya Smith as Edith Piaf. <laughs> We've seen all five star guests. But before the studio audience make their choice, remember, it's the best sound alike, not the best look alike. So let's remind you of those five fantastic facades. It First, Peter Giles was a swoony crooner, Harry Connick Jr. It had to be you. Kirsten Tomlinson gave us the sound of Julie Andrews. When my heart is lonely, Ivan Mornington was the man from the spans, Tony Hadley. Dinah Derby became the British soul sensation, Gabrielle. And Tanya Smith took us back to the 40s as Edith Pia. Studio audience, cast your votes now. 
And while the audience get their minds in gear for that all-important vote, we'll go backstage where, for the moment, the pressure is off for our five-star guests. You can't really imagine it. It just happens, and then you're there, and you sort of you know, feel very emotional. I really am. It's quite strange. So I love it. The atmosphere over the last couple of days has been absolutely wonderful, far better than I could ever hope for, and all the contestants, we've just all got on so well, and we're all rooting for each other, which is just great. My family, they must have been really proud because I looked over and they were smiling and clapping and I think they were just generally pleased that I got through everything. I look like her, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm on a high at the moment. I just love it. A lot of happiness, you know, so an ambition that I've fulfilled now. To be on telly, yeah. So who is tonight's grand finalist? Is it Harry Connick Jr, Julie Andrews, Tony Hadley, Gabrielle or Edith Pia. And the winner is Tony Hadley! Like the page in blank. I think I think you're gonna have to thank your singing teacher now after all that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm so pleased for you, you know. Your dad and your two brothers out there. Yeah. Looking pleased as punch. And this is what you want, isn't it? Yeah, this is exactly what I want. This is what you want in life, isn't it? Yeah. You want to be a singer? Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it is brilliant, isn't it? Congratulations. You deserve it, mate. Thank you. you do. Thank you. Well, what a show, what a tough choice, and what a winner. Although all five deserve to be there, only one can return as a live grand finalist, and Ivan is right here, ready to sing one more time. So please welcome back centre stage, Ivan Mornington as Tony Hadley. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Well done. You've got the voice, we've got the stage. For details on how you could be walking through those famous doors on the next series of Stars in Their Eyes, phone 0870 400 4000 for an application form or see Teletext on ITV page 351 for more information. Bad.